Good morning. That plan to house migrants in another vacant Southside school is not sitting well with neighbors. One older woman says perhaps it's time the city can search or consider larger sites like McCormick Place to house migrants that would help relieve police stations, including this one. The police stations have been housing hundreds of these asylum seekers. The mayor-elect, Brandon Johnson, did address this issue this morning. He says that the city needs more federal help, and his team is working on a plan to address what he calls a crisis. Crisis engineered by outside forces. He says he does not want to see one community pitted against another. But we also have to be very clear that there are families in the city of Chicago who have been ignored for a very long time, right? We got to admit that. Thank you, ma'am. We have to admit that. And so I want to make sure that black families who have been left out and that the brown families who want in are not seen as. A divided space. Everyone, this is the community please, that you're pushing this over on. This was what city officials encountered during a community meeting at South Shore College Prep. There were so many angry outbursts, they never gave their presentation. I don't have anything else to say. I'm ticked off. You're doing this wrong. You're doing it wrong. 250 people? Give me a break. More than 8,000 migrants have been bused to Chicago, most of them from Texas, since late August. The city has housed asylum seekers in shelters, park district facilities, and police stations. City Hall now proposes housing 250 to 500 migrants at the shuttered South Shore High School. It is a chair for them to sit a place to decompress, and a place to take a hot shower. That's really what this is and a nice meal. It's a place to decompress and not be in a police district. Despite community pushback, the city opened a vacant Woodlawn school to migrants earlier this year. South Shore residents expressed similar concerns about safety, use of their tax dollars. Many felt blindsided. We do not hear from city officials until election time. It, um, this is insulting at its best. 49th Ward Alderwoman Maria Haddon says the city should consider housing migrants at McCormick Place, Navy Pier, or vacant big box stores so neighborhoods are not inconvenienced. Haddon says managing a few large sites would be easier than managing multiple smaller ones. The older woman points out that um, McCormick Place has a lot of space, multiple facilities that the city can use. An OEMC official recently told a city council committee that the city has identified 13 options as shelters, but each of one of those options does come at a cost. In Rogers Park, Judy Wang, WGN News. Thank you, Judy.